Hi, my name is Ling Wenchen, a student from Tokyo University, Japan. I will present the paper retitled Pinpoint Fly, an eccentric position control drone interface using mobile AR. Accurate controlling of the position and direction of drone is difficult because it requires high operation skills, which is not an easy task even for experienced users. Here are the reasons. First, insufficient depth spatial perception. Spatial perception means the ability to be aware of relationships with the environment around you and with yourself. In that picture, the user feels the drone is above the target position. In fact, there's 0.8 meters errors. In real world operations, sometimes it's dangerous because users even don't know where the drone is, let alone accurate manipulations. The second issue, insufficient spatial perception of direction, which will lead to a problem called mental rotation. In drone operations, generally, you fly a drone like this. But sometimes you have to rotate the drone. If you forget to rotate the drone in your mind, operations like this would happen. We take the most famous interface, joystick, as example. You can see in the video, to stop the drone at point A accurately, user has to adjust many times, which is not so easy. To solve these issues, we searched some related words. We found that we can visualize the drone while AR design the interface as eccentric interface, which is very intuitive and use position control method to respond accurate and easy drone operation requirements. Inspired by related words, we found that a cast shadow like this seems to solve all these issues. If we control the drone through this cast shadow, it becomes eccentric interface and we can control the drone's position directly, and also it can improve depth perception. Then we choose to use a mobile device to implement these concepts. Height slide bar is used to adjust height slides, cast shadow is used to determine the ground position, and direction slide bar is used to rotate the drone. Via such interface, we can pinpoint the drone's position, so we call this interface a pinpoint fly. Based on the idea, we made a prototype and designed four interaction techniques. We found that they can cover most of the visual life side applications. First, drag fly. Drag the cast shadow, and the flying drone will track the virtual drone in real time. Second point, fly. Point the virtual drone to target position, and the drone will fly to there accurately. Third, trajectory fly. First, draw a flying trajectory, and the drone will fly along that path. Last, waypoint fly. First, designate some waypoints, and the drone will fly along the waypoint. During the flying process, user can also move in the direction slide bar manually. Then we made studies to test the performance of pinpoint fly compared to joystick. This study focuses on testing the positioning performance. Users fly the drone from start point, and the timer begins. When the user feels the drone is above the target area, he says OK, and the timer stops. The system will record the task completion time and distance error between drone and target points. The sideway task is almost the same to depth task. The only difference is the view perspective. Another study focuses on videography performance. For those in circle task, participants are required to fly the drone while rotating it to take a video for the panda with different interface. Position error, angle error, and task completion time will be recorded. For point inspection task, participants are required to fly the drone sequentially along the randomly gifted points. For example, B, C, E, A, F, last D. Task completion time will be recorded. Here's the results. For positioning performance, an average of 33% to 45% task completion time reduced. 50% operation accuracy was improved. And for no in circle task, 35% task completion time reduced, and for point inspection task, 43% task completion time reduced. As you can see, this is a huge potential of controlling a drone while cast a shadow. Here are some examples of using such interface. We can control a drone easily and accurately in drone inspection, videography, delivery tasks, and the drone can also easily act as a display drone for a worker. Since this is the first prototype, this will still have some limitations. For example, we didn't consider the height perception problem, which may affect the user when the drone flies above 10 meters. Object occlusion is also a problem if there are many obstacles. Operation error is now limited by the accuracy of camera and mobile device. For future work, we would like to make an experiment to see how height perception affects performance. Also try to embed 3D mappings of environment to the system to avoid occlusion problem and combine with the joystick to extend operation area. That's all. Thank you for your attention.